B no? B L square omega divided by 8 minus right minus right B L square omega divided by 2. So here if you open the bracket what do you get? V A minus V A. What happens? Cancel each other. V A and V A get cancelled. Here minus V C. Minus of minus plus. So can I write instead of writing minus V C plus V B. Can I directly write V B minus V C. That is equal to. Right hand side. What is the common thing you can see? B L square omega. 1 by 8 minus 1 by 2. Take the LCM. B L square omega divided by. What is LCM you are get? getting? 8. Right? 8. 1 minus 4. So that will be B L square omega minus 3 by 8. So finally, you will be getting V B minus V C is equal to B L square omega. Can I write minus here directly? Minus 3 divided by 8. Here it is a negative sign. What is the unit will be? What is the unit of this? V B minus V C. Huh? What we are calculating it all? Velocity. Huh? Velocity. Potential difference, no? EMF. Induced EMF we are calculating. Right? This is original formula. Okay? So, EMF at A point, EMF at B point we calculated finally. First initially, okay? And after this, we have calculated the potential difference. Potential difference, how do you calculate? Plus or minus? What is the definition of potential difference? It is the work done per unit charge bringing from one point to another point. Here one point to another point initially. Next case, one point to another point. That is VA minus VB. Next one, VA minus VC. So add, we had required VB and VC. Hence, solving the equation, we are getting VB minus VC is equal to minus 3 b l square omega my divided by 8 so here potential difference we got it then what is the si unit of potential difference hold saying meter per second <laughs> got it okay so got any doubt what so that is the reason we considering BCOM, no? Average. So at this point, we are considering point C. But in case if you are doing integrate, what about that? Yeah, you can do it. You can do it. Area you need to consider. But what Again, is an net effect due to acceleration? Centripetal acceleration. It is not required, right? Potential difference and centripetal force, there is no relation between them. But if there is no real Ah, it tell is me that. moving with a constant angular velocity, but it has some uh, centripetal acceleration. What will be the acceleration acceleration will be there, uh -huh. but what we are finding, we are not finding force, right? So he, here we are finding what is the potential difference between B and C. If it is the entire length, if we consider a BVL, but if we consider only this part, so what will be the potential difference between C and B? Okay. And if you want C and B, first you need total potential difference, right? Total potential difference. Then if you subtract from AC, you'll be getting CB, right? Yes or no? CB. So what, can you tell me why are we getting negative? Why are we getting negative? Higher potential at B. But here, what they have given? Higher potential B minus VC only. But why? still we are getting minus 3. What is the reason? Length. Ah, length only. As radius increases, what happens to the linear velocity? Increases, right? So they are asking about difference. But still we are writing minus 3. 
the reason is simple at a point b it is more and point c it is less directly proportional to what is that velocity velocity is directly proportional to length only so here r i have written you can write l also got it okay fine so next question please copy the question it is very interesting question a metal disc of radius a metal disc of radius r equals to 25 cm rotates with a constant angular velocity what is this in the formula omega ah omega omega is equal to 160 what is this its si unit radian per second 160 radian per second about its axis so it is pivoted okay it is rotating like that best example is hands of a clock in that pattern okay find the potential difference find the potential difference between the center and rim the center and rim of the disk if the external magnetic field here uniform magnetic field we are considering okay external magnetic field b capital letter b is equal to 5 milli tesla mt not capital letter small letter mt okay small letter m capital letter t is directed perpendicular to the disk directed perpendicular to the disk here we have options a 20 milli volt b 25 milli volt and c 45 milli volt and d 50 milli volt so what do you think which formula we have to use it so first of all what is the shape they have given disk circular disk right disk only circular shape okay so here if i consider this is the disk okay where is its center at the center of if it is a circle this will be the center can i consider it as a o okay and what about radius 25 how much 25 25 so 25 cm it is the rim can i call it as a r nothing but rim okay okay i'll consider different uh, letter because here it is a circular shape so radius i can consider it is a r only so i'll consider p only okay o to p so center of the rim uh, center of the disc to the rim it is a 25 cm what is the magnetic field perpendicular means can i consider inward direct direction so b so what is the b value 5 milli 5 milli tesla and uh, radius 25 cm can i write it as a 1 by 4 meter 1 by 4 meter yes or no now what is angular velocity 160 radian per per second what we need to calculate potential potential difference so directly can i write e okay what is original formula bvl do we see any b b you can see length you can see from here to here okay and what about uh, v yes so can i consider this v as a cvm what is that cvm center of mass velocity okay now what is that v cvm gives us actually it is original l by 2 omega right but here what we have r so in case of this can i write cvm as r divided by 2 omega right so therefore e is equal to b r by 2 <coughs> omega what about l it is a r 
total length from here to here. It is R, right? Are you understanding? Okay. Now substitute the values and get the answer. B is how much? 5 milli. Milli means 10 power 3 Tesla. And R is 1 by 4 into omega is 160. R is again 1 by 4 divided by 2 because here 2 is there. Calculate. Tell me what is the answer? How much? 50? Sure. Huh? 50 millivolt. So here, 4 1s are? 4 4s are. Okay. 10. And here 2, here 5. So 2, 5 5s are? 25. So 25 into 10 power minus 3. So therefore, can I write E is 25 milli volt. Which option is right? 3. 3. 3? B. 25 milli volt. Vishal, where did you make mistake? 2. Here, 2. So be careful while solving the numericals, okay? Clear? Okay? So can you do one numerical as a homework? Not homework, right now. Okay? Please copy this. Let's see. 